Hi, this is Rick Bentley, and welcome back to PK Safety Supply. Today we're going to talk about our asbestos and lead dust respirator assembly. What this consists of, what you'll get in the box, is a 3M 6000 series half mask respirator, which we'll look at in a second, and the 3M 2091 or P100 filter. P100 tells you that it's a HEPA filter. HEPA filter means that it's going to filter out particles down to 0.3 microns, and which is exceptionally small. And in the case of lead and asbestos, it's the exceptionally small particles that are the real problem. So I'm going to take this out of the bag and we'll look at what, it, what each item is and what you get in the box. So the items that come with in the box are going to be the filters and the mask. Now this is the 3M 6200, which indicates it's a medium size. Uh, the, the bag can be used for storage afterwards, good place to keep it, it has a drawstring at the top. So what you get is a suspension assembly with these elastic headbands, plastic in the center, and this is an elastomeric material on the sides. Our uh, 7500 uses silicone, it's another item we'll look at some other time. So the uh, filters are going to go here, and then inside the mask, our check valves. These little valves right here are what to keep the air from going only inward through the filter and outward through the exhalation valve. The filters that come with the unit are the 3M2091. We sometimes call these a pancake filter. You'll see they're flexible, all right? Made of uh, some sort of polypropylene material or weighted, rated P100, which means that they are a HEPA filter. Nothing, uh, nothing big is going to get through this. Um, they go onto the mask with a quarter turn. We'll look at that further in a second, but just so you see up close. Quarter turn, and you're good. And it stops. That's all there is to it. If you're wearing a welding helmet, something like that, the flexibility can be nice. If you're not wearing a welding helmet, one thing to keep in mind is uh, if you get any sparks, like let's say you're grinding something, the sparks can burn through this. This is kind of like a polypropylene material, so it will um, you know, uh, get a hole in it from that. But that's what... Uh, that's what the items look like. So as we've seen over there on the table, we have the half mass respirator. This is the medium size. Um, small and large are available. And while there is no true sizing standard, uh, generally speaking, small size women uh, is, takes the small, larger men take the large. Most people, 80% or so, take the medium. So we have here uh, uh, the suspension and the mask. We're going to take the filters out of the bag that they come in, and we're going to take them to put them onto the mask, just like we showed you a moment ago. Quarter turn, and on they go. Okay, it's real, real straightforward. I'll just put on one for now. The mask then goes on your face with your chin right in the, the bottom of the cup here. Put it on. It goes over the cup. Even with your glasses, it'll work. And then tighten it up. This one goes around the back of your neck, like so and you're good to go. Just kind of make sure that the mask is uh, sitting on here nicely. And a quick way to check the, the fit is to cover the outlet valves. That's this one. And the unit. If you really have a hard time breathing out, you know it's pretty well set up. That's basically all there is to it. Uh, I'll take it off, tell you. Thanks so much for watching.